am streaming live on YouTube in the next 15 minutes. Uh, yes, so we will be live on YouTube and then I can be able to share that link in the chat so that if you're having challenges with the audio, it becomes easy for you to know um, to join us. I can see I already. Oh, now minutes. I need to mute myself here so that you can be able to hear. Jen joining us in Kisumu, Karibu Sana. Diana in Ruaka, Nairobi, Karibu Sana. The link up drop in the chat. If you can't hear me, follow us on YouTube. Uh, and I'm looking out to see more of your comments. Tell me, where are you joining us from? I'll be happy. If you're on YouTube, you're following us, just say hello or hi. That is the only way I can know that you are together with us. We still have a bit of uh, a bit two more minutes. So let's get to know where are you joining us from? Galaxy AO2 Vera. Oh, that is Vera in Kisumu, Karibu Sana. Joseph Miles in Nakuru. There's Anthony in Imara Daima, who haven't time mentioned. Leah in Langata. This is in Mozambique. Sarah in uh, there's someone in Ivasha and another one in Yamira. Akini, Nora in um, Kapenguria. It's good to see people joining us from far and wide. If you have uh, uh, challenge with the audio, uh, follow us on YouTube Live. So yeah, there is the link. If you're having any challenges with the audio, if you can't hear me, follow me on YouTube Live. I can see Abdallah, Abdullahi Babu saying hi from Nigeria. He is following us on YouTube. I'm happy to Kendi in Kajiado, Sharon in Nairobi, Lydia in Machakos, Richard in Vihiga. Oh, we are going fine wide. I'm very, very happy to see this. So uh, if you're on YouTube, you're following us, just say hello. Hi, let me know also where you're joining us from, and then we will get started. Today is going to be an evening of transformation. And what you are going to learn today, I want you to hold it very dearly. I want to, by the way, clear any distraction that you might have. If you want to rush through the washroom, do that right now. Run, then come back very quickly. Tell your the people around you not to disturb you for the next one and a half hours. Pick a pen and a paper or a notebook, not actually a paper. I want you to take a notebook so that you can write some notes, so that you can remember some of the things that I share with you because they are going to change your perception of this thing called job search, in this thing called uh, getting a good paying job, a six-figure salary. I'm very serious about it. And it's going to be life-changing. Thank you very much, Solomon. You're joining us in Nair from Nairobi. Good. Anyone else who is having a challenge with the audio, I think I'd mentioned if you can't hear me. Yeah, you can follow us on YouTube. Yeah. If you. If you can't hear, follow us on YouTube. I think that is much, much easier. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to send you a message uh, in the chat. And the other thing I want to mention is that today is going to be a very interactive, this is going to be a very interactive session. It is not me just talking to you, but I also want you to engage. So at some point, I'll be asking questions and I want you to engage. Um, mainly, we will be using the chat a lot, a lot. So get used to the chat. Let me know where you're joining us from if you haven't dropped that in the chat. So let me know where you're joining us because it's going to be interactive. It will not make a lot of sense if I'm just talking, talking, and you are not participating in this uh, conversation. Okay, let me just check tabs with the time. Uh, oh, it's only one minute to go. So anyone who is late, yeah, about a minute to go. There we are, but we will hang on in there so that we can be able to get started, all of us, together. I can see Augustine, you're joining us all the way in Sirare, which is very good. Thank you very much. I also want to know, maybe as we wait for that one minute to elapse, what is your expectation for this session? What are you looking out for? It is good for you to be intentional, put an intention out there and let me know what are you looking forward to learn? Thank you, Doreen. You're joining us from Homer Bay. Today, I think this is one of those 
uh, training I've done, which is I'm having people from all over the country. And I'm also happy to see there's someone from Nigeria, there's someone from Mozambique, and I'm sure there are other people who are from outside the country, which is still great. Learning, learning doesn't know any borders, and I'm blessed that I'm able to serve you from wherever you are. So what is your expectation? What are you looking forward to? What would you like uh, to take home from this session? What is your expectation? If you can drop that, maybe in a word or two in a phrase, I'll be happy to do that. There it is. Our time is up. Uh, it is exactly 7.30. Then we get started. We don't waste too much time. I respect your time. And I want to assure you by 9, we will be out of this place. So I will not take much of your time. Thank you very much, one boy. You are saying that you're looking, um, uh, you're looking to improve your job search skills. This is just the best place for you. And boy, Lucas, you will get it. Welcome to today's session where we are discussing how do you get to that six-figure salary even without a degree or master's. I'm not saying having a degree is bad. I'm not saying having master's is bad. But if you don't have them, does that mean that your career fate is already decided? No, it is not. If you have your degree, if you have your master's, you can still use the techniques that I'm going to share with you this evening even to propel your career much Father, right? I'm guessing for a lot of you, this is probably not the first seminar or training or webinar that you are attending. The first thing I want to mention is if you have failed to earn more money in the past, it is not your fault. There is a lot of information out there and it can be confusing. Many a times that is keeping you away from success and it's okay. If you have been concerned that in the past that you just can't succeed in employment, I want to put those fears to rest. You just need the right person to explain it to you. The society, on the other hand, has perpetuated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful. And whenever you talk of yourself as an employee, you look like a second hand citizen. I'm here to pass that myth out because most people are better off as employees and they get more satisfaction and have higher productivity as employees. The big corporation, the education system, and the government wants you to think that you need some fancy college degree for you to be successful. I'm here to tell you they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it is not true. You know what? If you have ever thought that the government and the education system, they actually plan this thing out so that you can fail. You're probably right. They don't benefit from you succeeding. They want to keep you in debt and in need. The difference with us is that we actually care about you and we want to see you truly succeeding and living the life of your dreams. So that is what we are here for. I know you have that dream job which will give you the high satisfaction. It will utilize your full potential. And I want to show you how to get that done during this session. So my big question to you is, are you ready to learn? If you're ready, say, yes, I'm ready in the chat. If you're ready, say, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Doreen, I've seen what you're looking out for. Teresa, I've seen what um, you want to know how to marry the cover letter, the CV. Are you ready? Sheila is already there saying, yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? D saying, yes, I'm ready. Who else is ready? Are you ready to learn that? Nokia, Jose, you're saying, yes, I'm ready. I will also be switching and seeing people who are on uh, YouTube. Candy, you're saying you're ready. Leah, yes, I'm ready. People are Aaron, I'm ready. Christine, one boy. Oh, they are coming in so fast. Joseph, Sarah, Judy, thank you. Anthony is ready. Augustine, Evelyn, who are we? Sarah, Akinora is ready. Everybody is ready here. Yeah, I can see Abdullah, you're asking, understand how to survive without a degree. That you're ready to go. Thank you very much. Galaxy is ready. Richard, Sarah, how to get a job. That is what you want to learn. You're in good hands. Don't worry. All these will be revealed to you this evening. Now, I want you to imagine this. If it's possible, close your eyes and imagine this, that you attend an interview. And at the end of that interview, the hiring manager tells you the three magic words that you are hired. You start working for that company and one month down the line, you receive your paycheck 
and your pay slips look something like this. Your basic salary is 180,000. Your house allowance is 50,000. Medical allowance, 25,000. Commuting allowance, 50,000. All these totaling up to 270,000 Kenya shillings. How would that make you feel? I want to pause. Just imagine that hitting your bank account. Yeah? Wouldn't that be lovely? I'm sure it would. And so once you have that picture, the first question I want to ask, I want you to engage with me here, is what does a six-figure salary mean to you? I've asked this question to so many people, and I get um, way varied answers, so many answers. Some is about personal development. Some is about having enough money to provide for their family. It's about taking their kids to school. Others is about buying their dream house, their dream car. Some is about giving back to the community. So in a word or two, in a phrase, what does a six-figure salary mean to you? I want to drop that in the chat. Chris, I can see you said you're ready. Diva is ready. Chris Wamboa is ready. In Felix. So I want you to tell me. Thank you, Huawei. is also Mary joining us in Nairobi. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? The reason why I'm asking this is because we need to have this clear. Why are we chasing this? Because if we don't identify the reason why we're chasing it, it will be like running after the wind. So in a phrase or two, what does a six-figure salary mean to you? I'll be very happy to know that. I want you to drop that in the chat. My assumption is that you're busy typing. I don't want you to type so much, just in a word or two. Because you will be surprised, even in this group, some, several people will go for different, uh, will go for the six-figure salary for different reasons, yeah? And I'm waiting to see that in the chat. Thank you very much. I can see, oh, Joyce is here. Judy, there's Ken, there's Candy. Okay, for Sarah, it means the world to me. Okay, I wish you could be a bit more specific. Yeah, it means the world. Uh, D, you're talking about uh, actually a lot. Joyce, thank you for being a bit specific. It will enable you to build or buy your fa a family a house for your family. Augustine, you're talking about, it's about additional work and responsibility. Uh, no case talking about is a channel for personal development. Yes, better life, right? You improve your living standard. That is Sarah. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, a six-figure salary allows you to have a much better uh, living standard. Yeah. It means living to be satisfied, uh, um, satisfy my living standard. You are able to pay your expenses, you're able to pay your, you know, life has its own expenses, job satisfaction. I can see bright future. I can see someone talking about channeling my life, uh, financial, uh, being financially sure. Thank you. Changing my life somehow and uh, those who are around me. Thank you. Thank you. So you can see this six figure salary means different things to different people, but it's okay. But once you have identified what it means to you, then it becomes a good beginning point to have this uh, discussion. This training, when I was trying to figure out who will best benefit from this training, I was targeting two types of people. Number one, the first kind of person I think they will benefit the most is someone, a professional, who feels that the lack of a degree is the hindrance to their career progression. If you're here and you feel like the fact that I don't have a degree, the fact that um, I don't have that master's. That is what is holding me back. You're in for a treat this evening. And the second kind of person I really want to help is someone who feels that with or without a degree, they are still feeling stuck in your career. Are you feeling stuck? Have you been in the same position for a very long time? You are not having that more exposure. You're not having a challenging uh, role and you're feeling really stuck in your career. If that is you, then you're in for a treat. This evening is going to be an eye opener for you. My goal in this session is to show you that the only way for you to get to that six figure salary, even without a degree or master, is by acquiring what I call the badass pro skills. And the only place you can get these badass pro skills is this program called the badass pro program. And we'll talk more about that later on. Is that okay? For those of you who are meeting me or seeing me for the very first time, my name is Daniel Mutuku. I am the founder of Career Point Solutions. Over the last 10 years, I have been blessed that I have got an experience working as a recruiter, career advisor, and also as a personal and professional development coach. On top of that, I am a certified digital marketer. And among other groups, I'm a very proud member of the League of Young Professionals. 
also known as LYP. I'm an author of four books. The first one was Facebook for Profit, how you can easily use Facebook for profit and extra income, even on a part-time basis. I also ordered the second book, which was a Blueprint for Success, Guaranteed Steps to Achieving Anything. And at the beginning of this year, I gave out this book for free, Conquer the Year Ahead, Make the Next 12 Months Your Best Year Ever. And you can still get it for free if you're interested. The year can start for you today. You might say, yes, start it today. And next year on November, uh, no, on August 18, you can say, I've just finished a year. What have I accomplished? And you can say, those 12 months were my best year ever. Yeah. And then you can, uh, I also gave this ultimate cover letter guide out for free, 101 sample cover letters for all professionals. If you want them, just drop me an email and then I can be able to send it to you. As I start, I want to ask two questions and hopefully the answer will be yes for you. And if it is yes for you, then you're going to get the most out of this session. I want to ask uh, this, yeah? Uh, will you let me be your coach? Will you let me be your mentor during this session for the next one and a half hours to be your coach? If so, say yes in the chat. If you want me to be your coach, can you say just yes, be my coach, be my mentor, guide me, let me be there. Thank you very much. Do you do your saying yes? D say yes. Jehu, yes. Sarah, yes. Aaron, yes. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, there's oh, there are many, many. Augustine, Diva, uh, Joseph, Miles, this uh Prince. Okay, I can't, I might not be able to catch all of them. Thank you, Miriam, Habib, Akidi, Brenda, Wampo, uh, Solomon. Okay. And the second question I want to ask: Will you allow me to tell you the truth, the hard truth, the one that Maybe people will not tell you, but you allow me. If you say yes, say yes in the chat. And if you want to say yes for both of them, you can say yes times two or yes twice. Yes, yes. Jahu, yes. Judy, yes. Yes, of course. There is Eric. There is Waswa. Akid, yes. Yes, twice. D is there saying yes. Thank you. Thank you for giving me permission to be your coach in the next one hour. Thank you for giving me permission to tell you the truth, the hard truth. Because I'm not here for you to like me. I'm here to guide you and to show you what needs to be done. Thank you. I can see the yes are still coming. I appreciate that. So let's get this rolling. Yeah. I am not crazy when I'm telling you that we have very successful individuals who have made it even without a degree. This is just a sample of them. On the left here, the late Bob Collimon. He died on, by the time he passed on, he was at the helm of the most successful company in Eastern Central Africa as the CEO of Safaricom. Do you know, to the time of his death, he did not have a degree. We have uh, here, the second guy, yeah, a very vocal media personality, still earning a lot of money from employment. Maina Kageni does not have a degree, but he's still very successful in employment. Jelango just graduated last year, I think in December or November. Even before he graduated, he had still amassed a lot of success. Churchill, the same thing. So I'm not really crazy, and it can happen to you. Let's break it down. How did it happen to them? And to help you do that, let me give you my job search story. I cleared my school back in 2009, and I started my job search. I was lucky that it took me about one year to get my first real job in 2010. And... According to the Bureau of Statistics, it takes about 10 to 50, uh, not 10, it takes about three to five years for a fresh graduate, someone from college, to be able to secure a job. But it, it took me one year. That one year felt like forever. And I really sympathize with those people who have to stay three, four, five years without a job. But once I got my first job, something interesting happened. Over the next year, I got so many interviews. I think I went for over 10 interviews almost an interview every month, but I was not getting that job that I wanted. And then this opportunity came in in 2011. I said, I must seize this moment. At that point, I was working in CIA. This is a job here in Nairobi for an international school looking for an ICT teacher. I said, this, I must seize it. And I think that is when I started coming up with what I call the badass pro skills. Now, let's look at it. Normally, how does it work? You apply for as many jobs as possible. If you're lucky, you get invited for an interview. If 
the interviewers like you, they give you the job. It might not be your dream job, but because you don't have a job, you pick it. But with badass pro skills, these are tried and tested techniques that will give you predictable results. You are sure what you're going to get when you use these skills. Look at this email I got from a gentleman called Alexander. He told me, thank you. I attended a career presentation last time. This Monday, I was interviewed for the position of last son of Pizza Kenya Yawis. And Wednesday this week, I got the job. Alexander followed what I shared with him. He got that job. My task in the next now 40 minutes is to share with you these two secrets. Secret number one, how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates. Secret number two, how to negotiate a six-figure salary. Now, I want to ask a question. I like playing uh, this small game here, yeah? Imagine we didn't have time for both the secret, but we had only time for one secret. Which one would you really, really want to know? Would it be one or would it be two? So I want you to type in the chat. If it is one, if you want to know how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates, just type one. If you really want to know how to negotiate a six-figure salary, type two. So let me see which one is more popular. Uh, I can see Chris going for one, D going for one, Christine wants number two. Eric, number one, Judy, number one, Ken, number one. Oh, uh, Joseph says both, Stanley, one, Brenda, one, two, oh, Galaxy, two. Okay, a mixed reaction here, Brenda, one, okay, Aaron, two, Sarah, two, hey, Miriam, two, Mi oh, Miriam, one, okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. Who is the clear winner for today? Uh, Joe saying two, Joel says two, Jeho says one. Uh, let me look at the last two. Leah goes for two. Franken goes, or Franken goes for two. Okay, I can see it's almost 50-50, uh, but don't you worry. Joyce wants two, Solomon one. We have time for both of them, so you don't need really to worry. We will go through both of them because I can see it, they are equally important. Everybody wants to know. But let's start with the number one. How do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates than you? I told you that um, uh, my, my job story, yeah? I was working in Siaya, then in Nairobi here, an international school wanted a computer teacher. That time I was working as a computer uh, tutor with a computer for schools project, and I came for that interview. And once I left that interview, I was so sure I have gotten that job. I had gone back and looked at what made me not get these other jobs from other interviews. And as sure as hell, the next day, I had traveled overnight. Uh, it was a Friday. I came for the interview that Friday evening. Again, I traveled back to Siaya. And then on Saturday, I received a call. I remember it was about mid-morning, 10, 11-ish there. I was walking towards my house. And then I received a call. And it was a lady. I remember very well. And she called to tell me, I'm here giving you good news. We are offering you the job. Thank you for attending yesterday's interview. You are the successful candidate. I was so happy. This is like my dream job come true. I was almost jumping in the middle of the road out of excitement. And I was like, yeah, I got it. But then that afternoon, something a little bit depressing happened. I got a call from the same number. It was the same lady. But this time around, she was having some bad news for me. She told me that they took my name to the board and the board rejected my candidate. And I was like, why is that so? Uh, she told me, yeah, they were looking for a teacher for uh, the, one of their campuses. It was a new campus, and they needed someone who has experience teaching students in the international curriculum, that is British national curriculum, and they have taken students to the international exam, that is IGCSE. I had none of that experience. I had none of that qualification. But yet there are some people in that uh, interview who came for the interview who had those qualifications, and I still triumphed over them. So how did I do that? Now, I want to tell you this. You have three seconds, the moment you get into that interviewing room to be able to showcase these three things, yeah? Number one, you should show them that you are as sharp as a tack, mentally acute, clever, intelligent, mentally alert. You have your eyes on the ball. This should come straight off the bat as you get into that interviewing room. Number two, you should be able to show them that you are as enthusiastic as hell showing and having great excitement and interest in that company, in that role, and that specific job you are interviewing for. And number three, you should be able to show them that you're an expert. 
you are knowledgeable, you have the skills in your area. Now, you might be wondering, how do I do this within the first three seconds? It is possible. It is learnable. I have learned it. It has worked for me, and it has also worked for so many other people. Take a look at this email I got from a gentleman called Brian. He told me, Daniel, I'm grateful for your service, and I would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews. Who get five interviews in today's, yeah? Three finance assistant position and two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure the finance officer job starting in January. I had attached the JD to update my CV for the new position. Kind regards, Brian. He got the job. Here's another email I got from Chep Kurui. She told me, hello, Daniel. Thank you for always sharing how to answer questions in an interview. In the beginning of this year, I secured a job that I have been dreaming to be a registry officer. Now I am one. She got her dream job. Thank you and be blessed. Here's another happy customer, Jen. Told me, dear team, thank you guys for writing my CV in a professional way. I secured myself a job within a few months. I am happy for the results. My current employer was so pleased by my CV in such a way I cannot explain. I went for four interviews and still it matched the best. Thank you, guys. Now, you might be thinking, these are some of the questions that you might be having at the back of your head because I've seen even some of you sending me this question. Like, how long does it take for me to be able to like master all this stuff and be at that uh, proficient level? I want to tell you this. This is a job market. You are paid for being valuable and for bringing value into the market. It takes time to be valuable. It takes time to get this value to the market. But unfortunately, you're not paid for the time. You're paid for the value. Uh, what about office politics? Somebody asked me. I have to tell you, office politics is not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, I'll teach you how do you use office politics to your advantage. Somebody asked, how do I convince the management that I'm the right candidate? I'm due for promotion. I can take up more responsibilities. That is the wrong question, as a matter of fact. It's very hard to, to convince people. But I can teach you the alternative. How do you influence the management? Yeah? Because that is a more, it's a learnable skill. Do I need to quit my job? I'll tell you, most of the time, you don't need to quit your job. The opportunities are within where you are. It's only that we always look outside for opportunities. But of course, there are some people. I can help you identify some of the red flags. If they check the box, then yeah, you need to quit your job. But most of the time, you don't. Somebody asks, is it possible for me? Yes, it is possible for you. It happened for Brian, Alexander, Chepkurui, Jane. It happened to me. It can equally happen to you. Yes, it is very much possible. So I want to say this with a lot of conviction and confidence that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced than you. And I want you to repeat this after me. If you're in a place you can say this out loud, please do. If you can't say it out loud, just say it quietly in your heart and be very convicted of it, and we can say it together that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced than you. It is possible. Now, before I go to the second secret, are we okay? Are you getting stuff? Are you getting it? Are you getting something? If so, just say yes, yes in the chat. Are we okay? Are you getting something? Are you getting some value out of this session? How are we faring on? Let me know in the chat. Just say yes. I can see this saying yes. She's getting value. Alice, thank you. Yes. Judy saying, yes, yes. I can see, okay, Jehu. I can see Aaron, Brenda, Joel all the way into Rukana saying, yes, thank you very much. Ah, okay, Stalin, yes. Fikirini, Asante Sana, Joel. Okay, they're coming in. I'm glad that you're getting value out of this. I'm glad. So we can move on, yeah? Let's move on. Let's move on. Now, how do you negotiate a six-figure salary? I know some people who are interested in number two, yeah? So we are ready to go. I can see the yes are still coming, yeah? Now, when I was, when I was researching, oh, somebody got lost and then came back. Um, just to try to be, uh, to stick in there, let me just put that link. You can follow us on YouTube. It is much easier. Okay, let me check those who are on YouTube, what they are saying here. Oh, uh, uh, there's a guy saying yes, one boy, Lucas saying one. Marcy, oh, they were answering Sarah, one boy. There's look okay, good, good, good. I'm happy. Sorry, I'd forgotten people on YouTube. I try to switch my screen and see all both people. So if you're having a challenge and you are on the Zoom call, you can't hear me, 
it is much easier when you follow us on YouTube. So let me look at this. When I was researching for this section, I came across this study that was done by Joe Wright and quite some interesting statistics here. 84% of salary negotiations always result to a higher pay. I said, boom, this is a good thing. I said, 84%, chances of you going out there, negotiating a higher salary and getting it is very high. But then this other, a little bit, got me a bit uh, sad because it says, the study still found out only 14% of employees negotiate salaries in their current jobs. In other words, people wait for them to go to an interview outside the company for them to negotiate their salary, not in their company. Maybe I can ask, how many people here have ever tried to negotiate a salary in their current job? And if you have, how did it go? Was it good? Was it bad? Did it go well? Went south? If you can have time, maybe you can drop in the chat. Say, yeah, I tried. It worked. I tried. It went bad. Or what happened? I would want to know, and maybe even in this uh, group. Yeah. But I want to say this. Anyone who is confident enough to try usually succeed. Anyone who is confident enough to try usually does what? They succeed. I can see D Achieng, you're saying I tried, it went bad. Okay. I can see Joseph Miles, I tried, it worked. Okay, good. Uh, who else here? Judy, for me, I have never negotiated. Okay. So at least we have 50 50. Some who tried, it went good, went bad. Aaron, yes, it wasn't easy. But did it work? <laughs> I would want to know if it worked or not. Thank you very much, Aaron. But here's the thing. If you're confident enough, it will work. Uh, Chris, yet Yangu uh, Ilienda Mbaya Sana. Okay. Um, Jehu, I did in my current company and went good act. Went good act. Thank you. Didn't work for me. That is Hezron. Je Joyce, I tried. They pushed my target very high and to an achievable level. So it never came. Okay. Never worked for me. That is Neo Ray. <laughs> Okay, and let me say this. I understand. I understand. It might work, it might not. Some people, uh, some organization will try different techniques like increasing your, your, your target as uh, Joel, you're saying you tried, but your employer became hostile. Now, I'm going to give you some techniques here on how you can be able to use go for that negotiation to increase your chances of getting that job. And these three uh, tips that I'm going to show you will, will just change how you perceive your uh, your job search yeah one well, boy luca i can see you say lucas you tried it worked you're on youtube thank you very much yeah so i can see team youtube also is very very active tip number one it might sound very simple it might sound childish but let me say this you need to know the salary that you want before you start negotiating you will be surprised how many people come to be, we are negotiating their salary, and I ask them, how much do you want? And they say, I want more. And I ask, how much is more? Right now, you're earning 50,000. I'll give you 50,000 and a shilling on top. Isn't that more? Do you know, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. You need to be very clear. You need to be very assertive. You need to be sure of what you're negotiating. And again, it shouldn't just be a random figure, 50,000, 150, 270,000, I want 200,000. No, it shouldn't just be random. This should be a figure that is based on your value, it should be based on your worth. So the question is, do you know your value? Do you know your worth? Once you have identified, you know your value, your worth, then the second tip I want to make it very clear is that make the company realize your value. It is not just good for you to know how much you want, but do the company know? Let them know your meaningful contribution. What is your worthwhile? Because sometimes we think everybody knows how much we are contributing and we assume they, they don't. Don't assume. Make it clear to them. Verbalize it. Because if the only argument you're going to say is, I have worked here for the last 10 years, the question is, what have you done here for the last 10 years? Maybe you are a liability to us. But when you're talking about your value, you're showing you that you are an asset. Make it very clear to them. And that tip I'll say, use comparables to justify your higher salary. 
how much do you know how much someone like you in your industry with experience just like you on average how much should they be paid do you have a, an idea because if you don't have these comparables it becomes very very difficult to justify that higher salary yeah uh, I can see Ellis, I tried, almost lost my job. Uh, Eric didn't work for me. I can see Judy, some of us are desperately negotiating since we search for jobs, we ought to be desperate after uh, from tamaking. Yeah, they will use that, but do you not understand your value? Because when you convert that discussion into value-based, then it becomes a whole different ball game. And I hope now you can see that. Now, I want you to look at this email I got from a gentleman called Julius. He told me, greetings this evening. I am writing to appreciate your work. It is barely two months after I used your reviewed CV. I'm glad that I have landed two jobs. I have taken the one I prefer. I'm working towards completing my course ME. That is monitoring evaluation, a course we offer here. Career Point Solutions, you're the best. I want you to hold that thought in your mind. This gentleman got two jobs, barely two months. Pick one, let go the other. Here's another gentleman called Lawrence. He says, I'm happy to inform you that after you guys reviewed my resume, I received three different calls for interviews within a span of 24 hours. Within a span of one week, I attended all these interviews. And fortunate enough, I secured all the three jobs. This was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year. I only had the difficult task choosing which one to go for, but eventually I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. Thanks a great deal. Please convey my gratitude to your entire team. Yours sincerely, Lawrence. So Lawrence here has three jobs, picks one, let go the other. Julius had two jobs, picked one, let go the other. So the question I want to ask you, and I want you to really think and give me a word or two. If you had two jobs, three jobs, five jobs offer, and you pick, you have to pick one and let go the other. What will you use to decide? As in what criteria will you use to say, I'll go for job A and let the other one go? In a word or two, a phrase, what will be the criteria you want to use to say, I'll go to this company and let go the other? And I want you to be very genuine. I want you to be very frank. I want you to be very honest. Because if you're not, I will call you out. And if you're very open and frank, I'll still call you out. So tell me in the chat, what will you use to decide? I'll go for job A, I'll let go the other. D I change, you're saying it depends on the salary. Thank you. Thank you. Richard, salary. I can see area of specialization. That is Aaron. Uh, where else? Okay, there are coming so many. I can't even. Uh, Ju Joel Juma. I look at the salary pay. Career growth, uh, growth opportunity. That is Eric. Depending on how much. Uh, offering that is Huawei, that is salary root, depending on specialization. Was what KG salary, Lea one boy salary, duty salary, area of specialization. Okay, let me say this salary, passion, and salary. Many people decide on salary, and it is okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Salar uh, salary plays a very big part. I was about to say Sarah has said salary, yeah, I was about Salah has said salary, okay. You get it, but anyway, it is still okay. And please don't feel it. Uh, don't feel as if you're being materialistic when you based it on salary, because actually a research was done, and this came from LinkedIn, Finance Online. They found out that forty nine percent of people will, as in, they were asked, what is the most important consideration in accepting a new job offer? Forty nine percent is about the salary compensation. Thirty three percent is about personal development. And the other is about work-life balance. And we talk about work-life balance. It's very important to have that uh, work-life uh, balance. Let me see what people are saying here. Precia, uh, career progression and salary. Okay, Frank came salary from El Gio Maracuet. Ama, El Gio. Thank you. My YouTube people, I think I've forgotten you. No, I haven't. Abdel, Abdel, Abdullahi, salary. I can see Oskin saying salary. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And I want you to start being comfortable talking about and why you talk about salary and other benefits. Yes, be comfortable talking about how much you want to earn. You know, when you talk about money, most of the time we are looked at as materialistic, but that is not the case. 
it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. I want you to repeat that after me with a lot of conviction. As you say, if you can say it out loud, say it. If you can't say it out loud, people around you will think, hey, this guy has gone cuckoo. Just say it quietly, passionately, and with conviction. And we say it together. It is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. Very possible. Probably these are some of the questions that you're having. I got this some of uh, questions. Somebody asked me, how do you network with the right people? And I thought this was a very brilliant question. You know why? 85% of high paying jobs are gotten through networking. This is according to LinkedIn. These are the hidden jobs that never get published or publicized, but people get hired to these high paying jobs through networking. And I will introduce you to a network of high net worth individuals. Hang on in there. Somebody asked, what matters most? Is it experience or qualification? Okay, this is the place where I, I, I turn and want to tell you the hard truth, yeah? And it, I might get, I get a little bit emotional, I get really carried out. And let me say this, whenever someone asks me this question, this is an escapist question. This is a question that is coming from a lack or uh, what is it, lack mentality. Because the reason why someone asks this question is because when I say experience is what you need most, they will be like, yeah, I know. I knew this experience. I'm not getting these jobs because I don't have the experience. When I say what is the most important is qualification, someone will be like, yeah, I knew. It's because I don't have a degree. I don't have a master's. All this qualification, where do they expect us to get the jobs and we don't have this qualification? And I will tell you, none of this matters most. It is what you have that matters. Use what you have. If it is experience, use it to your advantage. If it is qualification, use it to your advantage. Don't be an escapist. Don't come from a lack mentality. Yeah? How, how do I balance work life? Work and life, uh, personal life. This is very important. And I want to mention this. Especially when you get to these high paying jobs, more will be expected from you. Somebody, is it Augustine who said a six-figure salary means uh, more responsibilities? Yeah. And so you need to be very, very intentional in terms of how you balance your work life, your work and your personal life. Because I, you can see in this day and age how mental health issues are becoming a lot because people are spending too much time thinking about work rather than balancing between work and their personal lives. Am I too young? Am I too old? Again, this is that question that really, really makes me fired up and I'm like, Someone comes and tells me, I'm not getting a job because I think I'm too young. The same breath, someone says, oh, I'm not getting this job because I'm too old. Which is which then? I want to tell you with a lot of passion, not anger, passion. If you're young, use it to your advantage. If you're old, use it to your advantage. Use what you have. Stop looking for something to blame. Stop looking for something to point a finger on. Yeah, I knew I'm not getting this job. I think I'm too old. Use that old as an advantage. That is experience. If you're too young, use that as being an open book, ready to learn and being energetic and doing what needs to be done. I got this email uh, from a gentleman called Bishad. Look at it. He says, thanks. I recently landed my first consultancy at a few Kenya after heading to a well-laid out youth-friendly advice. Now, what do I get from this? This is a gentleman who is older than me, followed my advice, and it worked. It doesn't matter if I'm younger than him, he calls it youth-friendly, but did he get the results? Yes, it is the results that matter, not your age. Stop using that as an excuse. How do I measure, track, and evaluate my progress? I feel so sad for some people because I've seen them spending five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, only to find that they took the wrong career path. And this can only be dealt with if they were tracking and evaluating their progress. And I'll give you tools to do that. Don't waste too much time in the wrong career path. How do I fix myself in a succession plan? Yes, I know some companies have succession plan, but I can show you how do you influence their decision so that you get into that succession plan, even without them knowing. 
What are the qualities of a person who is worth six figures? I will talk about, actually, badass is an acronym. This, these are the qualities, six qualities, and I'll show you. How, how do I get started? Thank you for ask, asking that. I'm going to show you how you get started right away. Is that okay? But before I get there, I want to ask you this question. Now that I have shared with you this two main secrets, if I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe that you can get to that six-figure salary? If you believe, say, yes, I believe. The question is, if I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe you can get to the six-figure salary? If so, go in the chat and say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. I can see her babe saying, yes, I do. Thank you very much. I believe that is Judy. D, Jeho, yes, I believe. Augustine, Frasia, come out. Yes, I believe. Thank you. Galaxy A or two. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Thank you. I really feel good when I'm able to move you to that point where you feel like, yes, you believe. Look, our boy, you can say on YouTube, you're saying it depends on the sign. Yes, thank you. I believe. Libya, Fikirini, Sarah, Brenda, Anne Mwai. Quinton, Steve, I believe. Yes, I believe. Joyce, thank you for believing. And it starts with you believing. If you don't believe, then it becomes very difficult. Thank you, I'm sure. Nokia, I believe. I can see Eric, so I believe. Eric from Naivasha. That is my hometown, by the way, Naivasha. Ruth, I believe. Thank you. Now, once you believe, then... I need just to tell you then how to make it happen. I want to show you how to make it happen. And this can only come through this program called the Badass Pro. Yeah? I can see we are in good time. Actually, we're in good time. So I want to do this. Yeah? I want to ask for your permission. Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes, talk about this program called the Badass Pro? I define my own destiny and how it can be able to help you get to the next level into that six-figure salary. Then from there, we will be able to, I'll be able to answer any question you have. So I'm asking for your permission. If it is okay with you, say in the chat, permission given or go ahead, it's okay. Whichever is, I don't want uh, you to type a lot. But just say, I'm asking for your permission. Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes, talk about Badass Pro, how it can help you, and then we continue? It's okay, Augustine, Judy saying it's okay, D, it's okay. Steve, you're saying no problem. Uh, Joyce, go ahead. Huawei, it's okay. Fresia, it's okay. Go ahead. Mary, I can see that was Aaron. Sarah, okay. Fre uh, Eric Zo. Permission granted. That is Anmoy. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the permission. Uh, let me see on YouTube who is here. Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes? At least I can get someone on YouTube confirming. Ah, uh, Thank you, Paris. You're saying it's okay. Nokia giving me a thumbs up. Uh, okay, then I'll just take the shortest time possible, then we get started. I can see one boy, Lucas, who's saying it's okay. I know on YouTube you might have uh, a slight delay, but um, it has come through. I'll still be reading them. Luca, one boy, thank you very much. And if you're here with us and you're having any challenges with the audio, you can't hear me, that is the link. Follow us on YouTube Live. We are actually streaming there. It's much easier. Sometimes Zoom has its own uh, stuff, but yeah, is the link. Sure. So let me then talk, turn uh, my attention to this program called the Badass Pro. I am very proud when I say I am a Badass Pro. Actually, Badass is an acronym, and then Pro stands for professional. So what is this Badass standing for? And these are the qualities of someone who is worth six figures. Number one, an individual who is bold, audacious, courageous. An individual who is authentic. They know themselves. They're authentic to themselves. They're authentic to their own potential and they, they know what they are capable of. An individual who is driven has that inner drive from within the motivation. You don't need to constantly supervise them to do the work. An individual who is aggressive. In this day and age, you need to go and grab what you believe is yours. Not only being aggressive, but being also assertive. You are clear on what you want. An individual who is skilled. Remember that question, what matters most is experience or qualification? As a matter of fact, none of those. What really matters is skills. You can get your skills from your qualifications. You can get your skills from your experience. But what matters most is the skills. So you need to be skilled. And finally, an individual 
who is self-assured. They are confident of themselves. And that is a badass pro. Now, you join this program. This is our war cry. We say, I am a badass pro. I define my own destiny. I create my own luck. I am confident, but not cocky. Quiet, but not silent. Competitive and aggressive. I take 100% responsibility. I never give up. That is what we stand for. And that is our war cry. And we stand for that. If you want to be a badass, this is what you will be standing for. Now, today, if you decide to join the Badass Pro, what are you going to get? Number one, it's you're going to get a six weeks coaching. We call the Badass Pro six weeks coaching. The value of it is about 100,000. I'm not saying that is what I'm charging. That is the value you're going to get out of this program. In the six weeks, this is what we are going to coach you do. Number one, week one, we'll look at how do you get started and become unstoppable? Because the difficult, the most difficult task is to get the train moving. That is where you take all the steam and effort. But once the train is moving, it has momentum. Again, it becomes very difficult to stop it. Week two, we get to know your worth. You learn about your worth. Do you know how much you should be worth? Right, right now, do you know how much you should be paid? Week three, we look at building confidence and competence. Let me tell you this, yeah? Confidence and competence go hand in hand. And the more confident you are, the more competent you become. The more competent you are, the more confidence you have in yourself. I heard of this quote that in this race of life, Without confidence, you are defeated twice. Week four, we look at how do you master communication, influence, and networking. Because here, when you start networking, actually, this is where I introduce you to the individuals, high net worth individuals. I show you how to learn to use influence. Week five, I give you the tools to track and evaluate your progress so that you don't waste five, 10, 15 years on the wrong career path. And week six, now we summarize it and I give you the real skills that you need to be able to negotiate your salary based on your worth. Like we have identified your worth, we can now start building it up and then you can negotiate the salary. On top of the six weeks coaching that you get, you also get one of our professional certification, which is worth about, again, 100,000. We have four of them that we offer. We have project management, we have project monitoring and evaluation, we have strategic management and leadership, we have fundraising and resource mobilization. Now, think about it. Where do you think the money is at? NGOs and international organizations, they pay very well. And they are always looking for people who have skills and knowledge in project management, project monitoring and evaluation, fundraising and resource mobilization. When you get into the corporate world, you will get in at an entry level. You work a little bit harder you are able to get to the manage, uh, mid level. But for you to attract this figure, six figure salary, you should find yourself in the management or leadership of that company. What a better way to influence their decision by showing them you have a certification in strategic management and leadership. On top of the six weeks coaching program, you get one of our professional certification, you also get professional CV writing. So the world right now is about 303. Now, let's talk about CV writing. I know somebody mentioned that they want to know about CV. Most people have CVs, not a professional CV. And these CVs are just a documentation of where you went to school, where you have worked, a list of your responsibilities, and probably your referees. However, a professional CV is the opposite of that. It is a document that you use to market yourself. Think about any company with a new product or service. They will use radio, newspaper, billboard, magazines, you name it. But you and me don't have the luxury of having a billboard about ourselves. So what we use? We use a professional CV. And you need to be very clear on what is it that you're selling. You're selling your skills, you're selling your capabilities, qualification, and then your experience to the employer. And how you put it on that CV is very important. According to a famous study, it is said that it takes about six seconds for a hiring manager to decide if they are going to read through your CV or not. 
Does your CV pass that six second test? That's a big. Now look at this. This is one of the most common CV layout I've seen. And when you look through this, it's for a guy called Daniel Kenyan, married, date of birth. You need six seconds. And when you look at it, can you figure out what can this person do? Because that is the question at the back of the mind of the hiring manager. What can this person do? And it doesn't tell us anything. So we give him benefit of doubt. Let's read his career objectives. Now I have picked random career objectives from so many CVs I've been seeing coming in, probably even from your CV. And I want you to take a look at this three objectives that I'm about to share with you and ask yourself, do they resemble yours in your CV, word for word, or even in tone and style? I am seeking employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. Again, what can this person do? As a matter of fact, you are telling us what you want to gain from us. You're being selfish. Rather than telling us what you're bringing on board, you're telling us what you want. I seek challenging opportunities where I can fully use my skills for the success of the organization. Good worry, but still not saying, telling us anything. I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment that will provide me with advancement opportunity. Selfish. What are you bringing on board? Tell us what makes you valuable. I want to excel in this field with hard work and perseverance. Yeah, hard work, perseverance, and dedication not telling us anything. As a matter of fact, if you have that section in your CV, career objective, get rid of it. It is not helping you. By default, career objectives are more, uh, are more tuned inside. It's about you and what you want to gain. But that is not what the employer is interested in. On top of the six weeks coaching, you will get the professional certification you get professional CV writing. You also get professional sample cover letters. You know, it's very important for you to have a cover letter because a cover letter is a highly customized application letter for a position. And you need to keep on changing your cover letter for every position you're applying for. Now, I took a random position for an accountant, yeah? And if you are to get a job in this company as an accountant, some of the responsibilities you will be get, uh, doing it will be number one, reviewing and establishing proper accounting system, focusing, yeah, support, budget, and focusing activities, lasting with internal and external auditors. So somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads, I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in lasting with internal and external auditors. Such that if someone reads this, they feel like, yeah, this is the person we are looking for. Hope you get the point here. On top of the six weeks coaching, you get professional certification, you get professional CV writing, you get sample cover letters, you get LinkedIn profile guide. Now, in this day and age, you cannot live without an optimized profile on LinkedIn because this is where hiring managers are spending time, recruiters, headhunters, and they're checking out your LinkedIn profile. And if it is not optimized, you're missing a lot of opportunities. I like your CV which you only send it when there's an opportunity. It is somewhere in your flash disk, in your computer, in your email, in a cloud somewhere. The LinkedIn profile is a living CV. It is working for you even when you're asleep. It is looking for a job for you. Take a look at this email I got from She Salim. He told me, hello, Daniel. I would like to thank you for the LinkedIn profile guide service. After your guidance on how to make my LinkedIn account look more professional, I have now been approached by a potential employer and I am due for an interview on Wednesday this week. The guy wasn't looking for a job. The job was looking for him. I also saw this post here by Rosalind. He was saying, on 13th March 2021, I posted my first LinkedIn post to market myself for a job. I was not really sure whether it would eventually have a positive outcome from, uh, I will have a positive outcome from this, but I, I kept my head up high. Got called for interviews almost every day last week, and this yielded me a job. Yes, guys, I have a job now. That is just by simply posting 
and marketing yourself on LinkedIn. Now, on top of the six weeks coaching program, you get professional certification, you get professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, interview. I think the value that you're getting out of this program is about 210,000. Now, when it comes to interview coaching, there are certain questions you expect to be asked in an interview. 99.99% of the interviews you go, the first question you will be asked, tell us about yourself. And how you answer this question sets up the pace for the rest of the interview. Do you know how to answer it? And other questions like, why, why should we hire you? What is your salary expectation? Why did you leave your previous job? What, is your, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? We will guide you through all that. So in total, when you join the Badass Pro program, you will get six weeks coaching. You get one of our professional certification. You get professional CV writing sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. All these adding up to value of about 210,000. Now, now that you know what is involved in being a badass pro, what you are going to get, being bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual. My question is, are you ready to be a badass pro? If you already say, yes, I'm ready. Are you ready to become a badass pro? Say, yes, I'm ready. Eh, Frank came here saying, I had a challenge. I'm proud I'm back. Okay, Karibu Sana. Frank, D. Achieng, Nyakaru is saying, yes, I'm ready. Are you ready to become a badass pro? Ah, good. Let me check here also on yeah, YouTube so that I don't leave people behind. Are you ready? Sarah Mutoni, Karibu Sana on YouTube. Who else is here? I can see. Hey, they are coming. I'm ready. Kipiri, D. Pikirini, okay, sorry, Aaron is here, Sarah, I'm ready, jo Joseph, I'm ready, Stephen, I'm ready, Augustine, who are we? There is uh, Habiba, I'm ready, Brenda, Fresia, Evelyn, oh, this is great, uh, Evelyn, Eriko, you say, uh, thank you so much, I have learned a lot, we are not yet through, we are not yet through, and you're ready to become a badass pro, we still have another, um, let me say 20 minutes, in the next 20 minutes, I'll land a plane, yes, I'm ready. Vincent, I'm ready. One boy, Lucas, I'm ready on YouTube. Thank you. Abdullahi, you're saying, yes, I'm ready on YouTube. Thank you. Victor Kihika, yes, I'm ready on YouTube. Vincent Morris, I'm ready. Candy, yes, I'm ready. Um, I can see Mary, you're saying, I'm ready. Thank you. Uh, you're saying, but it's expensive. No, we have not even gotten to the cost. I've not told you how much it's going to cost you. Just tell me if you're ready. Get uh, Franklin, great. They are very much ready. Thank you. I can see Ubora TV. I'm ready here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I can see. Now, people, even on YouTube now, people are becoming more active. Thank you. Make sure you like the conversation if you're on LinkedIn. Give us a thumbs up. Share it also. Some other people can join us, yeah? But let me do this. Now that I can see people are ready, I have to tell you this. Akini, was, voila, you're saying you're ready. Jehu is ready. I had two choices. When I was trying to figure out how much then should I charge for this program? And I didn't want it to be, again, too expensive or too cheap. So the first option I had was to go cheap and get as many people as possible. And I said, yeah, this sounds like a good plan. I want to get so many people to join me. Let me make it as cheap as possible. And the second option that I had, because when you have so many people, it becomes, again, difficult to manage. The second option I had was ask for a slightly higher investment so that I can be able to dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. And I said, instead of having 100 people joining and I'm not able to guarantee their success, I better have 10 people join me for these six weeks. And guess what? I will dedicate more time and effort and I will guarantee your success. So I went with the second option. And for you to join this program, it's only going to cost you 24,999 and you can make this payment in three monthly installments of 9,999. And guess what you're going to get? There's the six weeks coaching, one of our certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. And wait, before even you leave, let me say this. Absolutely no excuse for you not to take action. Do you know what? Because there's a 100 money back guarantee. You join this program, 30 days into the program, and you feel like this is not what I promised. You have not gotten what I've said you will get. Just let me know, no question asked, you get all your money back. So now 
you have two choices. I made my choice. And the two choices you have, you guys, the first option is to do nothing and not take this leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. And the second option you have is to be open-minded, take up this small investment in yourself today and give it a shot. Out of these two options, doing nothing and being open-minded, my question to you is, what is going to be easy for you? Don't drop it in the chat this time around. Just have it at the back of your head, yeah? From research, it takes about 24 hours. Once you have learned a great deal as you have done this evening, if you don't take action on what I've taught you in the next 24 hours, chances of you taking action thereafter <laughs> drop to zero. And taking action does not necessarily mean just paying for the program. As in, can you think about looking at your LinkedIn and doing something about it? Think about your CV, your cover letter. How do you make it more professional? Because I want you to take action. And tomorrow at 8.31, so that you know we are live. Tomorrow, 8 at 1 p.m., if you would have taken action in any of those things, chances of you taking action will be almost zero. So please plan to take action. We have two types of people in the world and also in this webinar right here. Those who get an opportunity to change their lives, they have agreed with everything that I've shared with you this evening. They can see how it is applicable in their lives. And guess what? They still do nothing about it. And the second type of people are those who take action and define their own futures. Out of these two types of people, those who do nothing are those who take action and define their own futures. What type are you? Don't drop that in the chat. Just have it at the back of your head. So I'm through. I want to get, uh, get to question and answers. I want to, if you want to email me, my email is daniel at career at careerpoint.co.ke. You want to know more about the program? It's called the Banner School Program. Go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash banners. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One more minute before uh, we uh, get to the question. I want to give an opportunity for people who will take action today, tonight, before 9 p.m., before we close it. If you're able to make the first deposit of 9,999, guess what? You'll get the six weeks coaching and you will also get all the four certifications. Yes, all the four. That means you join the Badass Pro program, the six weeks, and you also get project management, project monitor evaluation, strategic management and leadership and fundraising and resource mobilization. And on top of that, you see, I will also give you, let me actually stop sharing here for a minute so that I can, uh, okay, stop sharing. I can show you some cool stuff. I will also give you a t-shirt written, I am a badass pro. And on top of the t-shirt, you will also get a notebook saying, I am a badass pro. And this is for people who take action tonight, right tonight, at least before 9 p.m. Put that deposit and then send me a message here and I will hook you up. On an evening like this, these people took action and they became the badass pro. This is Helen all the way in Matu. Winfred, no, I think this is um, Eunice in Bungoma. This is Scholastica in Kikuyu. Winfred in Kiambu. Clara here, all the way in Nairobi West. This is Willie in Nangara. This is Eunice in Kitui. Francis in Bungoma. And so many other people. No, Francis is in Mombasa. I get confused. So here's your chance. Get the six weeks coaching, all the four certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. And all you need to do is just make that one deposit, the first deposit of 9,999. Go to M-Pesa, Nipana M-Pesa, till number is 715732. And I am now open to your questions. I want to answer each and every question that you might have, and then we can be able to get started. Let me see. Okay, I've seen some questions coming in here. Nokia, which certification of the four you offer do you get if you pay? Now, you choose which certification you want, yeah? But if you pay now, let me actually even make it very clear. This is an offer that we have that is ending on Sunday midnight. So on Monday, we start off with a coaching. So you can pay between today and Sunday midnight, but when you pay, you will get one certification, which you choose one of it. But if you pay today, at least the deposit, you will be able to get all the four certifications. Hopefully I've made that clear. 
Uh, what if I send you something like uh, 9K? That is okay. That is okay. By the way, make that deposit. If you make it now, I can secure for you the four courses. Now, this is what I call negotiations. I think you've already gotten, but let me just coach and tell all of you. When it comes to negotiation is, this is what I've said, this is what we are offering, but you also need to tell me, that's a good deal. I came in, I was not prepared, but right now I have this much. Can I pay this much to reserve the offer? And the answer is yes. So you can still make a reservation tonight by making at least a deposit and then saying, yes, this is my deposit. I want to secure all the four certification. I'll be able to clear it maybe by tomorrow or by Sunday or something of that sort. So Nokia, I wish I can be able to get your name. Let me send you a direct message here. Um, uh, let me know your name. What's your name? And if it is possible, uh, you can give me your... You can give me your number, you can be able to talk, right? We'll be able to talk. Um, okay, okay, I've gotten your name. You can give me your number, I'll give you a call, we'll talk. There was another question here. I desire to pay for all the certification. Yeah, so if you just make that deposit, it will be much easier. Somebody say, I want, what if I have 1K now? Can I pay? Yes. In other words, you're saying I'm committing, this is my commitment, but at least by the time you're starting up on Monday, I'll have made my first, uh, the first deposit or the first installment. That is okay. Do that and let me know. We celebrate you here. And this is only reserved for people who take action this evening. You get yourself a notebook, one of Steve. You also get yourself a t-shirt and all the certification. And then tomorrow we can be able to talk. That's okay. Uh, all right, all right. Okay, I get you, Steve. And by the way, if you would like to get in touch with me, uh, that is my number. I want it to go there. But by the way, if you have been receiving my emails, my number is right down there in my email. Yeah. Um, Steve, give this, uh, give this. Okay, thank you. If you can give me your number also, I'll appreciate. We can be able to talk or you just make that payment and then just make it. Uh, I was seeing another question here. What are the session uh, scheduled in terms of time? Okay, Queen, Quinto, um, Minto. Okay, I think that's a very good question. Now, all this, let me talk about the courses are done online. We have an online platform where we have put our online courses where you can be able to access them anytime, any day, in the middle of the night, in the morning, afternoon, you name it. But for the coaching, it's a hybrid, yeah? You access the coaching material for the week online. You go through the material, you do the questions. There are some assignments you'll be doing. Then at the end of the week, you secure a time that is okay with you and me. And then we have a one-on-one -on -one session. We can do it live. You can come to the office. We can do one-on-one. -on -one. We can do it on Zoom. I can give you a call. So that one we decide at the end of the week when you have finished. So it is very flexible, but you'll have the week to go through your stuff. Is that okay? Hopefully, Camito have been able to do that. Vincent, kindly send the till number here. Okay, the till number is 715732. Uh, hopefully, I can be able, so it's 715732. Okay. I have 300, can, uh, can, I, can it work by now? Not ready with full cash. Now, yes, it can work, but then we need to agree by when will you be able to at least, by, uh, do you see yourself at least by Sunday having completed the first installment? If so, you can be able to reserve the four courses. The Aching, hopefully you get it, yeah? Because here, it's a matter of you taking action and showing me that I'm commitment. I'm committed. This is what I want to do. Yes, it will still work, but then we can talk tomorrow and make arrangement that at least by Sunday midnight before we start on Monday, you have been uh, be able to do the first installment. Steve, I've gotten your number. Vicky, I will appreciate if you can send me even in the private message and then I'll give you a call. I appreciate your effort today. That is a custom, please. There's a fear of switching from one job to another, especially people before you get another one. Kindly advice on how to overcome the fear. 
that fear of switching from one job to another. Um, I would advise this. It is not, unless we, we can have a discussion on one-on-one -on -one and decide and see if it is really prudent for you to leave your current job. But I will always advise, don't leave a job if you haven't gotten another one first. But in some cases, you can just leave even if you have not gotten a job. So uh, Augustine, I, I want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you. Give me a call tomorrow. We can be able to talk more, yeah? Uh, and hopefully, because I don't want to have assumption. I don't know what is happening. And that is the, I don't want to misguide you without all the information. Now, let me say this. We still have a lot of learning to take place, yeah? We have 15 minutes to go. Please don't leave. And by the way, on YouTube, anyone with any question, if you have any question, let me know. I, I, I want to finish very quickly and say, Warren Buffett said, the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. One of the richest people. For every shilling you invest in yourself, you will get 30 shillings in return over time. That is a 3,000% return on investment. Tell me, where else will you get such a return on investment? Real estate? Mm -mm. In a uh, 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 stock market? Where do you get that money? I learned this from Brian Tracy. It's called the 1010 rule. And it says, we have been brought up in a society where we take 10% and we tithe it. We use it to help other people. And to put it to you, why not take another 10% and tithe it to yourself? Help Use it to help yourself. I have been funding my own personal development and my own investment by taking at least 10% of my income and investing in myself. And the returns have been tremendous. This is your opportunity to start investing in yourself. At least put that 9,999, make that deposit through the till number 715732, and you get all the three, all the six uh, weeks coaching and the board certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. If you have made that deposit, just drop that in the chat. Even if you send me a private message, I'll be very happy to check that out. Okay, my team is telling someone has, it is, okay, let me, Okay, let me give in the name. Um, someone has already made the payment. Thank you very much. Oh, it's James. James, thank you very much, James. I don't know if you are here, just say yes. You have gotten yourself a t-shirt. You have gotten yourself the notebook. You have also gotten yourself all the four coach uh, uh, certification and the six weeks coaching. Now, look, look at this email here I got from Lucy. Yeah, Lucy dropped me this email and she told me, dear Daniel, I cannot be grateful enough for the Badass Pro training that came with a professionally made CV and sample cover letters. In a span of two months, I have managed to get four interviews from very reputable international NGOs such as INRI, One Acre Fund, and others. With my new CV and cover letter samples that I customize to suit various jobs, I am now confident to apply for jobs in the UN agencies. And honestly, I am hopeful and confident that that is my next employer. For quite a long, I hadn't been receiving interview invitation. It is no longer the case anymore. Thanks a lot and God bless you for the good work and always being ready to help. That is someone who got value from the program. Two months down the line, she started getting, getting invitation. In these NGOs that she has been looking for before she was not getting any. Actually, you can see, this is June, 2021. This is an email I got just the other day. And so many that still come. And I want this to happen to you. I want to ask you a question. How would you feel if you are passed on a promotion because you did not have the right skills? It's so sad. And I'm giving you the right skills right now. How would you feel if the person next to you gets a big break because they understood networking and you did it? I see this day in, day out, and it hurts me. And especially someone who comes to a session like this, I give you the opportunity, you pass it on, and then tomorrow you find yourself in such a case. It's so sad. But again, on the other side, how will it feel if next year, a time like this, you're debt free, you're living in your dream home and planning your next vacation because you have made it happen? Let me tell you, 
action speak louder than words. And if this is something that you have been seeking, I want you to take action tonight, right now. Because as majestic as the king of the jungle, the lion, as the eagle flies on high skies and soars, unless it goes out there and hunt, unless it goes out and take action, it will die of hunger. And so will you. I want you to take action because I believe that the universe conspires to make dreams come true to those who take action. And I want you to take action and start making your dreams coming true. Let the universe conspire to make those dreams come true. And I'm here to guide you to make that happen. Take action right away. At least 9,999, make that payment through the TIL number 57. 715732. Get all these four certification, CV, writing, six weeks of coaching, sample cover letters, LinkedIn, you name it. Join James. Uh, who else has also made a payment? I think someone else I'm um, being told here. Okay. Okay, Vicky, I got the number. Thank you. Quinto, you're asking, will interview session be something subsequent so that whenever one secures the interview? Yes. Interview coaching is part of this program. So you will still get the interview coaching. And let me tell you this. It, this relationship, me and you and career point, it doesn't end after six weeks. Even thereafter, if you want any help, you have an interview, you have an uh, amplitude test, you have an online assessment, we will be there for you. So you better take action. Alexander, kindly extend the period until uh, September. I've saved enough to get... Okay, Alexander, give, we'll talk tomorrow. Give me a call, check the email, and then we can be able to talk and see how we can be able to resolve. Now, here's the thing. You know, I do this thing once in a while, either three or four times in a year, and I also need time to recuperate, yeah? Maybe if there will be another offer, it's okay. If not, um, we will see. Augustine, do you also train on entrepreneurship? We have a course on business management and entrepreneurship. We have a course on business management and entrepreneurship. You can also pick it as one of the courses that you want to take. So Augustine, you can get that. Um, Vicky, you're asking for the TIL number. Let me just send it to you. It's a TIL number. So you go to Lipana Mpesa, buy goods and services. Then you put the TIL number, which is 5715732. Daniel, can you uh, share your contact as well here? Now, yes, I can still share. You can send me your number. I'll give you a call. By the way, if I tell you, give you can give me uh, your number, I'll give you a call. I have seen yours, Alexander, your number and your email address. I'll give you a call tomorrow morning, yeah? Just drop me your number. But if you've been getting my emails, my number is right there. Hopefully, Vicky, you've also gotten the tail number. I want to confirm, there's someone here who had paid. I, I'm not sure. It was James and who? What? Okay. Um, when is the deadline for paying the first installment? At least by Sunday midnight, because we are starting on Monday. Yeah. So the first installment, if you're able to make it at least by Sunday midnight, or you can make at least a deposit right now, and then we can be able to talk on uh, tomorrow. Yes, we should make a, a deposit right now, Joyce. It's easy for me to get your number. I'll talk with you. Vicky, you have joined the team also. Thank you very much. At least you have deposited. You get yourself the six week. You get the four certification. Let me know where you are. I will be sending. By the way, this one does not need to wait for six weeks. Even tomorrow, give me your address through G4S. You get yourself the T-shirt and the notebook. Yeah? So it was James. It was Vicky and somebody else. I didn't get their name, but good job. Good job. Let me say this, yeah? I learned this from Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett said, do not, no, this is not Warren Buffett, Jim Rohn, Jim Rohn. Do not evaluate something based on what it is called, it is costing, rather evaluate based on its worth. And sometimes people say, yeah, it's too expensive. That is the cost. Ask yourself, was it, what is it worth? Actually, when you look at the worth, it is, what is it costing you if you don't join this program? That is what it is costing you. Remaining in that job that you don't like for the next five, three years, 
Staying in that situation where you are not happy, that is what it's costing you. And this small deposit or investment in yourself is way much worth than the cost of this program. Yeah. And I want to tell you this. You guys, I know you have big goals. And if you have those big goals, let the size of your investment be equal to the size of your goal. If you want to make those big goals come true, let the size of your goals be the same as the size of your investment because that's where you get the highest return on investment. Now, this is your chance to invest in yourself. Join the elite team. Join these few people who are with, as I said, I will dedicate more time and effort to ensure you succeed. We better take longer before I have another cohort joining this coaching be, until I make it happen for you. Is that okay? Duration for the time someone can uh, pay because um, find I, they don't have a job. They have, okay, D, I've already gotten the number, yeah? And I know, I know there's that challenge of when people have a challenge with the money, they don't have a job. How, how then do they fund it? I want to tell you this. I have learned that people pay attention when they pay. And instead of making it um, difficult, I want you to be a little bit creative. I want you to commit. Because when you go out there and actually look for funds and tell people, I believe that this program will get me where I want to get. I will be able even to refund that money where I have borrowed. You will get more benefit. Rather than saying, let me join, then I'll, find, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll pay once I get a job. You will already be reluctant. The, the thing is, and I learned this from a, a gentleman called Grant Cardone, if you minimize the amount of time and effort or investment that you put in yourself, if you minimize that, your potential and the investment in yourself, you will equally minimize and diminish the effort and ability that you put in to make it happen. So let's talk more about that, yeah? We'll talk more about that. But as I finish, yeah, I want to finish. I want to make the play land. I want to give you these three, uh, two ideas. Then I call it a day. There's the E to E ratio. I learned about the entertainment and education. Five, the top 5% of the high successful individual in our society, they take 95% of their time in education and only 5% in entertainment. While the opposite is true when it comes to the bigger majority. I want you to dedicate more time to your own education. Where can you get the time you might ask? There are several ideas I want to give you. Create a morning or evening routine. Wake up a little bit 10 minutes earlier than you normally wake up. Sleep a little bit late so that you can be able to find, uh, take time for your personal development. You can be able to still com uh, use commute time. In Nairobi, we spend on average about two hours a day in traffic times uh, 250 working days. That is about 400, yeah, times 250 working days. That is 500 working hours. You can be able to use commuting. Get to work early or leave a little bit later so that you can be able to consume these courses and that. That is the opportunity I'm giving you. Six weeks, post certification, CV writing, cover letter, LinkedIn, and interview coaching. And to finish by saying this, and then we'll go to the most favorite part. You will never feel 100% ready for an opportunity when it arises. So what do you do? Just do it. If you're there and you're not sure, should I join? Should I not join? How will I do this? I'm a little bit afraid. And I'm answering, is it Augustine also question of being afraid to change jobs? The greatest fear carries the greatest growth. Growth does not take place where there is no fear. By the way, when you're feeling that fear, you're not sure if you should take the action or not. That is a signal from your body telling you you're about to do something that is outside your comfort zone. And that is why you're feeling that fear. And it's okay. So if you are a little bit afraid, know you're about to do something that is outside your comfort zone. And growth does not take place in your comfort zone. Actually, this is what happens. The first thing, in your comfort zone, you're feeling safe. And guess what? It is low risk, low reward. Beyond your comfort zone is the fear zone. 
This is when you're not so sure. You're feeling fear. You're fe finding an excuse, looking for an excuse. You're feeling you're low on self-confidence. You will be asking, what will others say about me? You're worried about people's opinion. But only when you go past the fear zone will you get into the learning zone. And through the learning zone, you will be able to face challenges. You'll be able to solve problems. You will acquire new skills. You will extend your comfort zone. And then you are able to grow and get to the growth zone where you find your purpose, you live your dreams, you set new goals, and you conquer your objectives. But guess what? You can't get to the growth zone if you don't go past the fear zone. The fear you feel, it's okay. It is part of your body giving you feedback. But will you go past the comfort, uh, the fear zone, or will you retreat back to your comfort zone where you are okay with things as they are? And guess what? You will never grow. So if you're here, you're feeling afraid, you're not sure, I want you to take action today. And I want to go to check. I can see, uh, I think, was it uh, more questions here? Alexander, okay, well, I'll talk about that. Your contact, please. Uh, let me give you my number. And uh, 07, that, uh, because I don't want it to, if you have my email, you must have, um, there's my number D, yeah? Let me say this. This is the certificate you get, yeah, with your name there saying this person has been formally evaluated, assessed, and can be able to demonstrate knowledge and skills in monitoring and evaluation and evaluating projects. And there you go, use. This person has been awarded that certificate. Jeffrey, thank you very much. I have seen your email address. Okay, I'll be sending it to uh, tomorrow. You'll get a, uh, by tomorrow morning, you'll be getting it. Yeah. But let me say this. Remember when we started, I asked these two questions. Yeah. Will you let me be your coach? And I hope I have done a good job coaching you this evening. And you allowed me to tell you the hard truth. The question I have for you will you let this be the end of this? truth telling the hard truth and coaching or would you want me to continue coaching you and be your mentor so as i finish today's session which is going down in the next uh one minute or so will you let this be the end of this great relationship or will you let it be the beginning for people like vicky for people like james for people like i don't know who, there are several i think uh, three or four people they have let this be the beginning. It has just begun. We are going to be together with you for the next six weeks. For you other guys, will you let it be the end or you, will you let it be the beginning? Oh, and also D, uh, D, you want it to be the beginning. You want it to continue. Thank you. This can only continue, but I'm giving you this chance to take that action. It's about nine. I'm closing the doors. If you pay thereafter between now and Sunday midnight, you will only get one of the certification. For now, you get a six weeks for certification, CV writing, cover letter, sample cover letters, LinkedIn, and yeah, coaching. And I'm through for today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you hanging in there. I can see Augustine, you also saying you want it to be the beginning of a long journey. Thank you. Yeah, actually, give me your feedback, guys, that you have been here. Would you want this to be the end or would you want it to be the, be uh, the beginning? So you decide and you can be able to say, yes, I want it to co be continue. I want it to be the beginning by making that investment in yourself. That has been my time. I don't want to take much of your time. I respect your time and I want to say thank you. Uh, maybe as I finish, I want to ask one question, but you can leave at your uh, period. I don't want to take more than your time. Yeah, it's already nine, but this might take about five minutes. What was your greatest takeaway? This is really the best part of this session. I like to know what you have learned from this session. So I want you to take a minute or so, type it in the chat, say, this is what I've learned. Yeah, I will read all of them. I usually read all of them. And actually that makes me feel really satisfied. At least to make sure I did not waste my time and I also did not waste your time. So take a bit, a minute, don't type too much, but. I don't want to really to hold you back, but I want you to just type and tell me, what have you learned? What have you learned? 
what you have learned. What, are, what is your greatest takeaway from this session? Put it there in public and then we talk. Do you say you want it to be the beginning? Joyce, you say you have learned to use what I have to my advantage. That's a great takeaway. Thank you very much, Joyce. Um, Alexander Minor saying, thank you very much. Jeffrey, thank you. What is your takeaway? Okay, Vicky showing. I have learned about the time period for taking action within 24 hours. Yes, that is very profound. Let me just, do you know people who take action? You go to a seminar, you get pumped up, you're very happy. And then if you don't do anything about it, one month down the line, you're exactly where you are before you attended that seminar. But if you take action, it changes everything. It changes everything. Augustine, going beyond my fear zone. Uh, okay, ah, that was very, yeah, for development. You will never grow. You will never develop in your comfort zone. And so that is a great takeaway. You will only grow when you go past the fear zone. Fear is not bad. It's an indication from within that you're about to get out of your fear, uh, your comfort zone. Spark, you're saying, what is the total, uh, what does total value mean? Total value, this is the value, the worth of the program. It is not the cost that you're paying. Is that okay? D, you're saying I've learned that nothing is impossible. You must be in a position to take risks and taking action. Thank you very much. Aaron, use available resources and just be optimistic. Thank you. Joseph, you have learned being aggressive and not setting, yeah, settling for list just because it is available. Tony, thank you for the presentation. Uh, we will get in touch. Kindest regard. Thank you very much. Tony Sharon, I have learned to that to uh, not do anything also has a cost. Okay, you have learned that not doing anything also has a cost. Very true. The cost of not taking action. What is the return on inaction? Steve, I have learned that there is no time to waste. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. This has been a great session. Uh, okay, I think I've forgotten. Well, YouTube, what have people settle the city on YouTube. One boy, do you train online writing? No, I don't really do online writing. Uh, okay. Then one boy, I have learned to always never settle for less than what I want. Thank you. Never settle for less than you are worth. That is the real about us. Someone who is aggressive and authentic. Joyce, I've scoring the number. We'll get in touch. Yeah. Thank you very much. And until next time, guys, it has been a great evening. I'm grateful that I did not waste my time or I did not waste your time. You have learned something. Habiba, the best investment is to invest in yourself. Asanteni Sana. Until next time, I'm out. For those who have taken action, we will continue with this coaching relationship until you 